Good morning folks, today is a new day, time to see how good my new camera is, ideal. So first of all I really need to get this plow greased up uh, before I get going. Um, Got to keep it right, you know, still not got a five for a... <laughs> Maybe one day. It's interesting to see how well it does. The main problem is going up and down the hills is the grip. The grip side of things is a big thing. The tractor can handle it, but it's no flat ground we're dealing with, you know. So, eh. Might be okay for some fields, but maybe not the big hill and this and that. But, aye, I'm sure I'd managed to cross that bridge when I came to it. <laughs> Right, that's are all greased up. Great hang those electric grease guns. Added bonus. The tire's still up. <laughs> so that means that there was nothing in the tire, it was just the inner tube that just gave up and went flat and then I hadn't noticed and then that caused it to Start spinning around and rip the valve off in the wee hole. <coughs> so that's what ripped the valve off. So time to get going again, I suppose. All right. I forgot I've got a head cam. <laughs> so I was able to control it on my phone, but it doesn't seem to be connecting the now. But that's something I'll do another time of wasting don't want to waste too much time trying to get that going yeah a wee bit done last night um, finished on the downstroke not very happy about that up there that doesn't look too straight does it now uh, kink up the top but I'm sure I can sort that out no, actually, if I narrow the plow the now, means I can widen it up the top and sort it out somehow, maybe. Not sure. Headland management. Right, get that up. I put the plow in float for transport, get that back up to full, makes a hell of a difference when that's on that for road smoothness. Big dollop of seagull jobby on the window there. What are you doing, your mental case? No seagulls yet. Right, let's widen this out a wee bit, eh? Take that. Take a wee bit of the kink out. Yeah, I'm not really that bothered as long as it's straight. No, I'm not really all that bothered as long as it is level, which it is. It looks beautiful. Maggie, swear to you. You're getting on my tits, Judas. That's a famous line from Billy Connolly. Uh, it's 
because the seagulls are coming in. This is a wee wet bit. We got drained last year and uh, it's just the surface. It's a wee bit of wet because as I'm driving through it, I'm not getting stuck and I'm floating through and it's ploughing over level so I dare say that'll get better every year. What are you doing? That's a bog, never go in there. You'll lose a tractor and yourself. <laughs> I was always interested in uh, draining it, but I'm not sure if it would be worth it or not. There's probably a drain through it somewhere, like, but I'm sure my grandpa tried many a time. He was obsessed with digging holes and doing drains. <laughs> he was the mole man, we called him, because it was like a mole going around the place in the old GCB mini digger. He used to park. He used to park his. Uh, Mitsubishi Shogun at the bottom of this hill. He wouldn't come to the farm, he'd hide up the back here. Come away up, start digging holes everywhere. And then eventually come down to the farm and say, I've been digging holes, I need a hand to drain it. <laughs> and, uh, we had to come up here and give him a hand to rod the drains and jet them. But all his work over the years has made this a far better bit up here. That is definitely far drier. There we are, a big rock there. And I decided to plough this corner out. I'm nearly there. Just this wee bit to go. Um, just gonna let, gonna let a wee mag out for a wee minute, and uh, I've got a pipe to sort. Just happened there now, so I'll show you what's happened to that. It's a pain in the arse. It has happened before, so it's not gonna wreck anything because I stopped it before it got worse. Well, let's go have a look at it. Maggie's away to probably do some business or chase seagulls off the land. Right, the front fur. So it's fine sitting like this, and then when it's turning to go round and down like that. when it's turning to go round and down like that, somehow it's ended up here. So this pulls it round under and jams it in there. So it's just asking for pipes to bust. It's supposed to be up here, like that. I'm not sure why that's happened. Because this is supposed to keep it in the right bit. And it's no done it. This whole time I've been up here. It's quite a pain in the arse, I've left quite a nice uh, heat rig here for that. The ins and outs look not too bad, they look pretty even. I got my first real six string on board the Heather Isle. I played a few tunes and I broke all the strings, but then I threw it over the side. So I made my way to Stornoway on the road to Odyssey, where my thoughts return each day. My lovely Stornoway, where the folk are truly kind. Every day, oh, 
the things you do to get the shots, eh? Leave the camera in places. What are you looking for? Any seagulls down here, they're up the top. <laughs> Dog's going nuts. Hey, so that's. It just keeps going up. It just keeps going up, and I didn't even leave this camera right down the bottom. A couple of stains. That one here, as I was passing, I'm not sure if I got it on camera. There, a stone popped out over there. I don't know what that dog's on. It's after nut. <laughs>